Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Irish Rail Ticket Machines. In this video we will cover which types of tickets you can purchase, and how to top up your Leap card. There are three options on the touch screen, from which you can choose from. The first option is topping up your Leap card, or adding Leap card products. The second option is to buy train tickets, which differ from what station you're in, for example, if you are buying a ticket from Glenageary you can't buy tickets for intercity services, you will need to either buy them online or purchase them in Connolly or Houston stations. The third option is collecting online pre-booked tickets. This is done by typing in your given confirmation code. On the right side of the screen there is the available methods of payment. You can either pay by cash, you can use either coins or notes, but you can't use a 50 euro note as the limit is 20 euro. The alternative method is by card, either with your phone or by inserting the card into the card slot and putting in your PIN. There is also a slot to put your TFI Leap card when topping it up. There are four types of Leap cards available, they are, child cards, student cards, the recently introduced young adult card, or the adult card. They can be purchased online on the Leap website, which I will put a link in the description below. To pay by contactless, tap your debit card where the green dot is. Or to pay by cash, insert your bank notes where the red dot is. On this screen there are two options for the Leap card. You can either top the Leap card up where it says, use Leap card, or you can buy a Leap card either online or in a shop. Please note, that these machines do not sell you TFI Leap cards. When you tap on the Leap card top-up option, you will have the choice of amounts of travel credit to put onto the card. An alternative option is you can now top up the Leap card remotely using the Leap card top-up app. If you leave your Leap card in the slot too long, the machine will time out, and your transaction will be cancelled, as shown here. When you tap on the buy ticket option, this screen will pop up. Here you have the choice of either adult single and return tickets, or child single and return tickets. Below the options, you have a row of letters corresponding to their station names. You can pick your departure station and then your arrival station, and you can then choose your price options. When you tap on the zone based ticket option, you can choose between zone 1 and zone 2. Zone 1 is for the Dart, and Western Commuter Services surrounding Bray, Hazelhatch and Selbridge, Maynooth, M3 Parkway, and as far as Rush and Lusk. Zone 2 is also for the Dart, but now includes the Southern, Western and Northern Commuter Services. This zone goes as far as Kilcool in the South, also including Hazelhatch and Selbridge, around as far as Balbriggan in the North. If you have purchased your ticket online, you will be given a reservation number for your train seat. You can type this number into the machine, and you will then confirm that the number is correct. Your tickets will then be printed, and you will be asked if you want a receipt. If you don't speak English, the machine will change the language to only French, Spanish, Polish or German. Unfortunately there is no other language options to choose from. When collecting your train tickets, they will be printed in a slot at the bottom of the machine. 